Okay, okay, now it works. Alright, finally we get the thing to work. Play this Final Fantasy team. Alright, alright. Uh, that will probably will appear later on. Alright, so we're gonna have some fun with this trash. The Final Fantasy Alley. Should we do the... The Assassins, the Marksmen or the Bangers first? Or the Specialist? The Assassins, because remember how easy that is? Okay. Cause... That's true. Okay, so let's start by putting Sidan. Then we have... Where's fucking Locke? Where the fuck is Locke? Just put the fuck boys on and then boom, you're done. You're fucking done. Exactly. You then forget to pull. Okay, there's there's your fuck. So you have Sidan and Locke and then we have everyone else. So let's put everyone in. Obviously they're not all in A. I will, I'm gonna move them up first. All the assassins. Then we have Kuja. We have Tifa. Uh, Lightning. Jets. Who else? Squall, Tidus. Am I forgetting anyone? Am I forgetting the assassin? Okay, there we go. Okay, I think that's all of them, right? Uh, 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 I'm checking. Okay, that's all of them. Okay, so let's let's move them a little bit. Tifa got S tier boobies. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so let's put Tifa is clearly on the A. And Jets. Actually, okay, first of all, let's put Squall on the bottom. Squall is trash, right? Then we have T. People use Squall. Yeah, finally, people use Squall. Now we're gonna put Noctis here. Lightning is good, but I think those two are better. Okay, so it will be something like this. Where... Hmm, now, T is actually... Okay. But Squall is just really trashy, but... I guess I can put it on the C because I don't wanna make him like it's so bad. There is nothing there. Yeah, Squall, like, the thing about NT is that none of the characters aren't unplayable. Yes. It's the Squall is kind of trash. Yeah, Assassin Reno, I know, right? Yeah, but it's like... It's like all of these characters are okay. Kuja, honestly, I think Kuja is really good, but... It's no use, so I'm gonna put Squall here. Uh, not just I'm gonna put it on the last on the B. I think. Let's put... Let's put in this order. Like this is the order I think they are better because Kuja thing Kuja I think it's actually pretty good, but no one uses him for some reason. Now we have Tifa and Jet. Jet is fucking like people don't use Jets at all. Yeah, Noctis. The thing is, I think Noctis is not good. Like it's not great, but I don't think he's as bad as Squall. Like at all. Like I think Squall deserves its own tier of bad. So, like, Noctis is, like, the worst of the beasts, you know what I mean? Like, Noctis is not great, but I don't think it's, like, as bad as Squall at all. So, let's say you have Squall on the bottom. You have then Tidus, you have Kane, Lightning, and then Kuja. I think Kuja and Lightning... Now, you have Tifa. I think Tifa is actually really good. But, it's, but I think Jet is better. So, you have fucking Jet, which is really dumb. Jet is just straight up stupid. People don't use Jet at all, but I think Jet casts can do like almost anything that he wants, he get, can get away with a lot of shit. And I'm not saying- Yeah, can because, do anything. Yeah. And I'm not saying this because I... I'm not saying this is because I'm in Sephiroth and Jet is a pain in the ass. Jet is actually really good, he's like the only uh, assassin that can like contest vanguards easily. So... I think that makes him like unique. Like the... He also has a block that the block fucking doesn't punish you if you miss it like you can block and then you miss and that's fine you can block again or sidestep so i think that makes uh i think that makes him really good for that's why i think people sleep on jet a lot i don't see a lot of jets and honestly i hope they they don't they don't appear more often because i fucking hate them but yeah, but then you have, like, these guys are all great, the ones on the B, they're all good. Lightning, I will pull her, like, on B+, plus, but there is no plus here, but it's like, she's, she's, like, up here, but I can't really do that. But I think Tifa is better than Lightning, I think. I think Tifa and Jed are better than Lightning, but not by much. And same as Kuya, these two, if there was, like, a B+, plus, I will pull these two, and then I will pull these three. 
or something. Yeah, lightning, like, compared, like, I think Tifa and Jekt, they're a little more, like, forward, more aggressive, and then lightning is a little more balanced. Yeah. So, that's kind of, like, how I see it. I don't say that lightning is bad or, like, worse than these two, but I think these two have, like, the upper hand a little bit. This is coming from someone who mains lightning, so, yeah, she isn't terrible, she's just... She's really good, but I think I just think Tifa and Jet are better than Lightning. Not by much. I wish she was better. <laughs> I'm not saying that she's bad, but these two are a little bit better in my opinion. So, do you guys think this is fair, or am I being like an asshole or something? I think this is okay, right? Yeah, I no. Here's the thing: the reason why I put Noctis here is because I think he's bad, but I don't think he's bad as. You know what? Let's put Noctis here. Fuck it. Noctis is kind of trashy, but I think Noct I think Squall is worse. I think Squall is worse. Definitely. I think Squall is worse. So let's just put it that. Or should I put just Squall here on the bottom, like on the bottom of the trash? Should, I should we just do that? You subscribe to asshole as soon as you decide to make it. I'm just making this for fun. <laughs> I don't ca I I don't believe I don't believe tier lists uh, are actually something that you should keep in mind on a game like this because the team play is what makes you S tier, not a fucking character in my opinion. Even if you pick Sedan, even if you pick Sedan, that doesn't mean you're gonna win because you gotta get good and you need good team play. So honestly, this is just kind of like for memeing. And this is this is a fact about cheerless. Oh shit, thank you so much for the follow. Have a, this is a fact, no matter what tier list you make in NT or like in any other game, people are gonna get fucking angry, so there you have it. Yeah, tier lists aren't as important in NT as they are in maybe like another fighting game. Exactly. So So yeah, like I don't think uh like, I think tier lists are a fucking joke in this game, especially in this game because this game is very team player oriented. So yeah, so we have the assassin. Now let's who should we go with now? What class? Vanguards, a marksman, or a specialist? Hmm. Oh, do the vanguards. Do the vanguards. Okay, let's do vanguard. Okay, first off, easy. Sephiroth on bottom. That's no questions asked. He's completely garbage. <laughs> That's why you become it's an asshole. Everyone's gonna be the malicious one. I don't care. They, like, I, I will enjoy their tears, Prince. I will, I will have like after this, I will have like a bath on tears, and I will have so much fun. Anyway, bath water of tears. Exactly, tear anti tear, uh, at least bath water. Perfect. Anyway, so let's put Sephiroth on the on the on the trash. Next to Squall, they're both best friends of the trash. Alright, who do we have here? Firion. Okay, let's put Firion on C4 now. Because he's kind of eh. But let's not... No, I don't think he's probably going to be on the B or something. Let's put Firion there for now. Okay, who else do we have? Claw Darn, let's put that here for now. Bane, I'm going to put Bane on A for now. Snow, I'm going to put Snow on A for now. Who else do we have? Uh, War of Light. I say B because his B stands for balance. I think Warrior Light's pretty balanced, so I'm gonna put him B for now. Who else do we have? Did I miss Chanteur? No, 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 don't worry. Let's see, who else do we have? Garland. Put Garland B for now. Uh, 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 who was I with? Oh, Cloud. Cloud. <laughs> Cloud is easy. <laughs> And I put Cecil. Just put them up there. Fucking put them up there. Exactly. Alright, are we missing any vanguards? I think we're good. Okay, okay, let's do this. Alright. So let's say, let's see. Sephiroth, yeah. Sephiroth and bottom. Easily, because. Galan is C, Saren. No, I don't. Mm. Galan's like, oh, he's a vanguard. He can pick it back on this one. He cool. He cool, technically. Alright, so let's start with Cloud. Cloud is easy on the S, right? I don't think we can. I don't think anyone is gonna get mad at this, right? I, think I thought you said that Cloud was easy on the ass there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. Maybe he is. Alright. So we have uh, Cloud easily S. Now, Bane 
I think Vayne is pretty good. Like, I think people... I think people sleep on Vayne a lot. Vayne is one of my favorites. Yeah, he's, he's, he's really good. He can... He can, like... He can make wall rushes since, you know, with the directional input. He's just a little bit tricky to use. Like, I... Yeah, like, I... He's... I mean, the problem he has is, like, his neutral has kind of, like, a short range. If this enemy turns, I'm 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 making this to like laugh. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm memeing on this shit, Cross. Don't worry. What? No, he's completely serious. Oh yes, I'm completely serious. <laughs> no, he's completely serious. I... He he hundred percent thinks that Sephiroth is <laughs> is trash. Well, I mean, I think I I totally agree on that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm fucking around. Okay, so let's put yeah. I think Vayne is pretty good. Snow is actually out there. Snow is actually out there. I think Cecil Cecil has been the... Uh, I think Cecil is doing pretty good recently as well, but... I don't know, maybe I put Cecil a little bit down here, I don't know. But I think Cecil is really good. People just don't... Yeah, Ce Cecil is pretty solid. Yeah, I, I put Cecil out there as well. Like, worse than these two. I don't know, maybe Snow should put it on the bottom, because I think... I think actually, Snow is not that great. Yeah, I'm 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 joking around, Bray, don't worry. <laughs> now, we have Warrior of Light because he's balanced, we pull him on the B because B is balanced, so you know, it's perfect. B for balance. Garland Garland gonna put him on the B because Garland is like Pringles. So once you pop you can't stop. So basically once he starts a string Once he starts a string he can't stop the string, so he's just stuck in the animation forever. So you gotta be careful with with the garland, you know. You gotta you gotta watch your step. So that's why we're gonna put him on the B because if he fucks up, he's gonna get fucked in the ass. So we gotta we gotta watch for that. That's an early I will tell my future sons. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Let's see. Cloud of Darkness. You see, C Cloud of Darkness. I'd say it's perfect. I don't know about you guys, like... I think that fits just fine. So I don't know, I'd say it's pretty good. Sephiroth on the on the trash as usual, because Sephiroth can barely... Put Van and Firion in D2. Well, Firion isn't... Should I put Firion on the D? With Sephiroth? Or should I put it a little bit above Sephiroth? Because because Firion at least can do banger, you know, the banger job, like set up and shit. Sephiroth can do that. Should we put Firion on the D? Okay, let's let's get Firion on the D. Let's get Fury on the D. Let's get Fury on the D. There we go. Let's get Fury on the D. Why are we giving Fury on the D? Because Firion's where he's either D or depending on how many marks are pressed. <laughs> Fury is better than Sephiroth. Ah, yeah, like I think Fury is better than Sephiroth. You know what? Let's let's not give Fury on the D. But uh, maybe a, a D plus, but we don't have a D plus here, so you know, let's just give him the D plus, just put it in the middle like that. Tico can feel the pain. I think Cloud of Darkness is. Uh, I will put. I, I will actually put Cloud of Darkness higher if I saw people actually doing the work with Cloud of Darkness, but I barely see anyone using Cloud of Darkness, so I can't really prove you that Cloud of Darkness is any better. You know what I mean? So, I'm just gonna leave her there, because honestly, I don't see anyone doing good with Call of Darkness, so how can you prove me she's better than she actually is? So we're just gonna put it there, you know? So yeah, so Call of Darkness is gonna stay there. She could go a little bit higher, but I have you to zone to use Call of Darkness purple, so I'm just gonna leave her there. Let's see, now we have Garland here, we're like there, B for balancing, those two are good. I don't think Garland's good enough to put it on the top. Now we have Snow, Snow of the Wars on the A's, but I don't think Snow is uh, as bad as these two. I mean, I don't say Call of Warrior Light is bad. Yeah, Ultima's pretty good with her, that's true. But I don't know, like, I don't I don't see, like, good enough Call of Darkness. Maybe I should watch some JP Call of Darkness. Give Garland's new track on the vacuum effect. That it will actually make sense for Garland to have vacuum effect on the ground, like, the way the attack looks. I will totally do that. Anyway. So if he spins hard enough, he creates a sucking force. Alright, alright, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think this is fair? Since Sidan first gets stand up and leaves. 
I know, right, Jen? Do you guys think this is fair or am I being an asshole? What do you guys think? Personally, I think Zidane should be D tier. <laughs> Add an E tier. I don't think I can. Can I? Add a row below. Oh, I can. There you go. Alright, let's have the E. But who am I gonna pull on the E? Like... I don't think we should have an E tier. Hello, Jen. Alright, okay, let's Hello, just... Jen. Let's do specialists. All right, so let's put all of them. Let's put all them first. Let's have Ramsa, Onion Knight, uh, Vaughn, Bartz, Camelot, uh, Cenos, X Death. Am I missing? No, I think these are all marksmen. Okay. All right, drop set for the rank. <laughs> all right, so let's start with the easy one. Vaughn. Vaughn is pretty trashy. That is pretty... I'm talking about competitive play, right? If you go to solo queue, you can always, like, stomp with one. They just, like... I'm talking about, like, screams and shit. If so... you, yeah, if you want... If you're talking about solo queue tier list, it's yeah. ba you basically just yeah, pop out, um... Vaughn and Zidane at the top. All the marksmen go in the E tier. Yeah, and then you put Sephiroth in the S tier as well, on solo queue. So let's put Van on the bottom because Van is one of the worst uh, specialists. Let's see who else. Now Onion Knight. Okay, I'm gonna put Ramsa here because I think Ramsa is okay. If it was solo queue, several will be as I know, right? I think I think Ramsa is okay, so I'm gonna put it in the middle. Like he's okay. Now it's now the question is: Is Onion Knight okay? That's it. That's the question here. No pun intended. Mm, I think I'm gonna put Onion Knight above because of the fucking Sage. Like the Sage is really good, and the ninja and people sleep on ninja as well. So I'm gonna put Onion Knight there. After it was in a, oh yeah, this is oh we need like Wi-Fi tiers, like tier tier list but with Wi-Fi. Severa still <laughs> E tier. Yeah, Severa still E tier. Yeah, the frame trap on the ninja, that's actually really good. So I'm gonna put so I'm gonna put Onion Knight on the A, honestly. Like Onion Knight, easily on the A. Now I think Bards I think we can easily put Bards on the top, right? Like Bards can do fucking everything. Oh shit. Like Bards can do everything, so I think that's fair, right? We can just put uh Bards up there. Bards is pretty good. Bards can do whatever the fuck he wants. So I think we can put parts over there. I don't think he's as good as these fuckers here, but I'm... Alright, so let's put x -Death. I think x -Death is actually really good. I think x -Death is on the same level as Sonya Knight, but only if you have good team play. Like, x -Death you need... x -Death you need to get... If you get, like, a good team, x -Death is a fucking monster. So I'd say that Xenos... Okay, Kamlana... Mm. Now these two... I wouldn't say that Kamlana and Sinos are as good as Ramsa. So I don't know. Yeah. Should I put Sinos and um Sinos and Kamlana on the same level as Ramsa? Should I put them a little bit down? I think yeah, I think Ramsa is better with the buffs now. Hmm. So, I think I'm gonna put these two on the bottom. Also, when I'm making this tier list, don't think that I'm putting, for example, these guys on the same level. Like, I don't think, uh, for example, Ramsa is equally as good as Garland. You know what I mean? Like, Ramsa is more team or two than Xenos. Like, imagine I'm putting the list separately for each class. Like, I'm doing this by class. You know what I mean? So, let's have Ramsa over there. Alright. I think that's pretty okay. Honestly, I will put x a little bit over here. And I will I wouldn't put like Bards on S. I will put it maybe on A plus, but I don't have A plus. You know what? I can create an A plus. Oh shit. I fucked it up. Let me actually put like the A plus. I can actually do that. Right? Add a row below. Let's see. A plus. Oh fuck. A plus. There we go. Beautiful. 
So now we can pull like uh we can pull like Exit here. Actually gonna pull these three here because I think they are all pretty good. You know what I mean? Cam is too, but he has to build up more, yeah. I think because I don't I think like these three are pretty good, but they are not good at, than these two. So I think that's fair, something like that. Uh now oh I'm gonna make a B plus as well. Because I have mixed feelings about lining and so let's have like B plus over here. Oh shit. Right, so we're gonna put We're gonna put like this once over here, lining and Kuja. I think they're pretty good. Just be sure to move Sephir to E tier, right? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's move Sephir salad. There you go. Sephir to the trash. Sephir straight up to the trash. Exactly, there we go. Alright. Okay, that's that's better. Yee! <laughs> Safer straight to the garbage. I think like we can actually put then uh Garland Warrior like here. Mm, now now it's getting a little bit confusing. Mm. Okay, let's put this ones. I think I think Kamlana is better than Sinos. I think Kamlana is better than Sinos. So I will put Sinos over... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Kamlana here. No, because I don't think Kamlana is as good as Lightning. Yeah, you know what? The, the, the plus are fucking me up. I'm gonna remove the... I'm gonna remove them. They're fucking me. They're fucking annoying me. The A1, I'm gonna leave it, but... Yeah, fuck it. So I'm just gonna leave this ones here. There you go. That's it. Easy. Make for every character a tier, right? Just put cat in front of each other. Yeah, that's what I'm doing because I think like lining and Kuya are better than this ones, you know? So there you go. Alright, let's see. What else? Should we do you guys like for the ones you think they're better than each other? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Should we go with this? Should I should I roll to the maximum? Do you guys think I should change something else? What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, Sephiroth actually Sephiroth. Let's put that. Uh, it doesn't seem like all the marksmen are that good. Trash. I've been mailed the specialist. There we go. Sephiroth in the trash rank. There we go. Now, now we are talking. Now it's perfect. <laughs> okay. Most of them are pretty balanced now. It's mainly the melee. Yeah. Alright, so let's go to the marksmen now. So let's gonna have Terra obviously here. Terra easy. On the top. You still I'd say A plus because I don't think she's as good as uh I don't think she's as good as Terra, but she's pretty much up there. Who else? Who else are we having here? Uh Yuna. I think Yuna is over here, you know. Let's let's put Yuna over there. Yuna's pretty good, but I don't th I think you still uh Isn't your probably basically Sephir? Yeah it is. I just fuck it. That, he's my main runner, so I'm just shitting on him. Mm, let's. I don't know about you, Stoll. I'll, I'll think about it. Let, let me just put them more or less whatever I feel like. Uh, so let's put Reno here. I don't think Reno is that great. I think Reno's balance, I'd say. Reno's okay. But nothing too crazy. Let's see. The Emperor. Fish and Toto so kind of like there as, as well too let's see uh now golvis is golvis is only good when he has his dragon so you're gonna put him in the middle because golvis is good with the dragon and without it he's trash so let's just put him in the middle to like average i think ultimate is up here uh ace is up here as well i think ace is pretty good and the emperor i don't know because the problem with the emperor is that the emperor is only good if you manage to play 4d chess with him you know? So... You need those 200 IQ Drury cells. Exactly, you need those, you need those like, 100 IQ Drury cells. Hmm. So, should we pull him, like, a little bit on the bottom because he requires more team play? Or should we pull him a little bit higher because when he has team play, he's actually really good? Yeah, I think, like... Hmm. Probably, like, 
well, what what are what criteria are you basing this tier list on? I mean, I'm, like, I'm basing like an actual like a competitive environment. So in an I, actual competitive environment, then yeah, he would he would go on. Yeah, like, like if you got an actual tier. team with him, I will actually put him on that. Let's if you're in an actual competitive environment, this would assume you're in an actual team. Yeah, so. so let's put him on the B. Yeah, but. He, you need to play 4D chess with him, but if you're good with him, you're, you're actually really good. So, like, you, you fucking beat the shit out of people. So, let's see... Kefka? I don't think Kefka is that bad. Like, I think Kefka is okay. I have someone think... He's my main, so... We can't... We can... I'm always gonna call Sephiroth trash. Yeah, I think most of the marksmen are okay for the most part. Not because I I don't see anyone doing great with Cloud of Darkness, even if they're in a team play environment. I never saw like Cloud of Darkness do like the Seekers plays. So I'm just here or there like, hmm, you know? Kind of like that. What do you guys think? Kefka sees it, to be honest. Not for an air kind of screw him. I have seen Cherub do God's work with uh, with Kefka. That's why I don't put him on the C. Like, when I see Cherub play with Kefka, I'm like, man, Kefka is actually really good. That's why I don't put him on the bottom. Because I think Kefka, Kefka can, can do wonders if you're good with him. It's just like, yeah. people sleep on Kefka a lot when it comes to like, using it. Yeah, uh, because Kefka is a little bit tricky. I don't think Kefka is that bad. Now, okay, let's... So what do you guys think of Yushal? Should I move Yushal a little bit down? Or should I keep her on the A+, plus? what do you guys think? What do you guys think of... I feel like the thing with Yushal is that she can work, but there are more marksmen that can do what she does better. Mm, I don't know, I think she does a lot of stuff pretty good. Now, you and I know a little more better than Yushal, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think Juna is better than Yustola. Yeah, that's why I put Juna under Yustola. That's why I put Yustola on A+. Plus because I think... I think Yustola is better than Juna, but I don't think Yustola is better than Terra. So it's like Terra, Yustola, Yuna. You know what I mean? Like, Juna's good. But you still is better. Actually, I'm gonna put Ultimisha. I'm gonna put Ultimisha over Yuna because I think Ultimisha is better than Yuna, in my opinion. I think Ultimisha is better than Yuna. And um... Ultimisha is Mark Spengarland. Yuna can't let us say, "Oh, no, you still I can." Yeah, but like, Yustola provides a lot of tools that are to the table. Like, Yustola does a lot of shit. Mm hmm. Juna is really annoying, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put Golbis over the Emperor because I think Golbis is better than the Emperor when he has the dragon. Like, he's more annoying. Kefka, I don't think he's bad, but I don't know where to put him, to be honest. I'm just gonna leave him there. For the most part. You know, cell combos are really red. They are there, but they are really... They are not that common. So, like, you can pull them off, but... I think Kefka's fine in B. You know, B for balance. F B for pretty boot. Pretty boot. Pretty boot. What do you guys think? Should I move something? What, I, what should I move? Your choice. This is a community-driven tier list. A community-driven tier list for for gay by gamers for gamers. <laughs> gamers rise. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put Jet on A plus because fuck this asshole. There you go. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Lightning on A two. Fuck it. I think Lightning is as good as Tifa. Thank you, I agree. 
But then I also think Kuya is really good, but no one uses Kuya, so I don't have mixed feelings. Here's the th I think Kuja is like is a, is B plus because on one hand nobody uses him, on the other hand yeah. he's good but nobody uses him. Like I wanna put Kuja. I wanna put Kuja a little bit upper, but I don't want to make like another fucking tier because then it's gonna get fucking confusing. But yeah, imagine like Kuja's like kind of out there, you know, kind of like there. There you go. He's basically Cloud but evil. I mean, the problem with Noah, I think he has a few problems, so that's why I don't put him... Hmm... What else? What else? What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Wait, ain't he does indeed share you fraud? <laughs> Tidus in D tier. <laughs> Should I put Tidus in D tier because he's like only good on Wi Fi? Should I move Tidus down? What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, net play. Okay, if we're talking about regular Tidus, maybe he's like a, 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 a C or a B. If we're talking about net play Tidus, he's definitely an S. Okay, so what, okay, so let's let's make like if this is Wi Fi, Tidus will be S. But since this is no Wi-Fi, we're gonna leave him here. Yeah, we're talking about we're talking about scram level play right now. So shall I move Tidus down? Better than Noctis, but all right, let's let's put Tidus there. Let's let's put yeah, let's move Tidus down. Fuck him. There you go. Let's 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 move him a little bit down. He has lice and die, so that's kind of like what makes him good. But yeah, all right, let's let's leave Tidus down there. All right. What else should we have over here? Hmm. Hmm. Heron with a tier list. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Trillian? Where, where do you what, do you want me to move anyone, Trillian? What do you think? I'm just like. Galaxy tier, in my opinion, Saren. I mean, I think he's worse than Warrior of Light, but I don't think he's better than Cloud of Darkness. Yeah, like, I... But I don't know where to pull Cloud of Darkness because I think... Saren, what was that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the, that's, that is the slice and dice. Okay, let's put, let's put Cloud of Darkness next to, next to Garland, actually. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think she's that bad, so let's let's do that. All right. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's fair. I don't think Cloud Darkness is uh, that bad. All right. Should we put Terra on the same level as Justola trolling? Since the last nerfs. Like, better than Gistola, but not by much. Hmm, maybe we can do that. Yeah, that's fair. I think we can move Terra down a little bit. Better than Gistola, but see more or less on the same level. What will you put Gistola? Will you put Gistola move, move to uh... Well, I's probably A tier because he can commit well with team play. I think we're a is pretty good. Maybe maybe I could move him up. Maybe I could move Should I move Warrior Light up a little bit up? Or should I kick him on B? And total S tier. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I said what I say. Yeah, let's okay. Let's move. Okay, let's let's move. Let's move our line a little bit up. Let's put him. Let's put, let's put him there. Man, now Garland is the only banger that is on the B. <laughs> it feels bad, man. Oh well, Call of Darkness too. I mean, I think Call. Uh, I think Garland is good as well, but hmm. But but yeah, we're less better.
Yeah, let's let's skip war line A. All right. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh wait, I have jet lag here. I should put move into the left because it, that's like the assassins. I don't think actually, yeah, I don't think Cloud is S after the after the fucking after the nerf. So actually, let's move Cloud down. To the A plus, yeah, because the because the cross slash just got slapping the fucking ass. So cross slash got cross slash. Exactly. So let all right, runner. Uh, have a good night. So yeah. All right, let, later, man. Boo slash. <laughs> so yeah, let, let's let's move Cloud down because of the cross slash. That's a good point. All right. Mm -hmm. What else? But yeah, the reason I have the reason why I have Terra and Gistola on on a, on A plus is because I think those two are better than Ultimisha and Yuna, but I don't think they are by much. But I think they are uh, a little bit better than those two. But then again, they in A plus. I'm I'm tempted to say that, but I don't think I'll leave my mom watching your stream. All right, good night, Cynthia. You're putting seven trash tier for me. I'm putting him for me, but honestly, if I, I wanted to like put him really, wouldn't we put him t here or maybe here? Like honestly, D or C, really? Like, what would you pull him really? Like, <laughs> do you want me to put him on the D? But like, he's not that great. I would I wouldn't put Sephiroth on the on the B. On the B at all. He's kind of like Shantoru in a sense. Yeah, he's very much a mount. But but I think the difference is that Sephiro has way more bad matchups than Shantoru, in my opinion. Like, Sephiro has way worse matchups. Like, he is bad against Jet, he's bad against uh, Locke, he's bad against Sidan. Which is like the top assassins in my opinion. I think Sephiroth wins Tifa. But then again, that's only my experience from Fighter and I fights. So like I, I didn't find I didn't find myself struggling a lot against Tifa, but, may, but then again the Tifa from Fighter and I fights may be not may not be good enough for me to like make a proper judgment. Uh Sephiroth against Lightning, I think it's more or less the same. Equal, eh? Kuja, I think Sephiroth can win Kuja because uh, Kuja's range is kind of whack. So Sephiroth can get that advantage on the range. Uh, Kane, I think the same thing. The, the, the thing with Kane and Sephiroth is like, if Sephiroth is too close to Kane, then Kane wins. But if Sephiroth maintains the distance. Uh, yeah, but that depends if, you, if he's above and below you, then yeah, then... Uh, then, then Kuja wins, but if you are like on the same level, Sephir has the advantage, that makes any sense, because Sef because Kuja doesn't have anything long range in the middle range, but only up and down. So, if he's up, like, above or below Sephir, then Kuja wins, but if he's on the same ground, then I think Sephir wins because he has like the forward range. I don't know if that's making any sense. So yeah, let's pull Sephir out there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else? Mm -hmm. What can we have? What can we move? I think it looks pretty good now. I don't... Like, I may look like I'm memeing, but I don't think it's that bad. Like, I don't think it's, uh... It's that terrible. I think it's pretty okay. I don't know. Yeah, Shantaro is still hard for me because maybe pull Van on the trash. Yeah, let's put Van on the trash. Let's put. All right, Van. Let's Van. Let's have some fun with Sephir and just put you two on the trash, right there. She can be solo queue. <laughs> solo queue. Oh yeah, let's call that solo queue warriors. Solo queue warriors. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> 
Alright, so... But yeah, well, let's just put them where they were. Hope his real makes him more team play oriented. I don't know what they're gonna go to Bond. They should hopefully do something good to him. But yeah, like... Chantel is very much of base. I put... I put Golbez in the middle because I think Golbez is good, is A with Dragon, but C without it. So, you know, like, kind of like in the middle. Like, I think Golbez is pretty good when he doesn't have the Dragon over here, but then when he lost the Dragon, it's like complete trash. So, I think that's more or less, you can, like, balance it out. Uh, Renola, I think Renola is a little bit better than Golbez. I'm not sure there. I, th hmm. I think she's definitely better than Golbez. She has a very good search and it glides, so that's like a very good thing she has going for. Actually, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put Shantoro over Golbus. I think. Because of the matchup stuff. Like, on the good matchup, she's better than Golbus. It's. It's the problem is like Golbus is very. Very momentum based, so it's hard to make a judgment with the Golbus because it all depend, depends on how good the player is. Like, if you don't lose the dragon in the entire match, then just fucking put him here, honestly. You know? You gotta take into consideration intros. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, if we go to the intros and voice lines, then Shantoro's on the S. Shantoro just wins automatically. If, yeah. we're, if we're going... If we're basing this tier list off of... Off of voice lines and Shantel the fucking wins. Yes. Well, Shan uh, no Dragon Golbus can completely do nothing. That's. He almost can't do anything. Like, his projectors are really bad without Dragon, honestly. Like, they have no tracking. So. I have. I don't know, man. I think. I think. Uh, Golbus with the Dragon is like. Top 10 biggest yikes of 2019. So I don't know, I think that's pretty okay. I think we can I think we can leave it like that. Any any changes? Any keep in mind also move off Kefka. I'm also thinking that Kefka's pretty good. It's just like I don't see a lot of people using him, but I think Kefka has the potential. You know what? I'm gonna move Kefka up. Fuck it. I think Kefka's actually pretty good. Like, when you see Cheryl Pear playing Kefka, he's like, man, this guy's fucking godlike. Like, the only person I've seen that can effectively use, that can use Kefka effectively is Cherub. Otherwise, I don't see people using Kefka that well. Yeah, but I think Kefka's more good than people think. People sleep on Kefka a lot. I'm gonna pull Noctis over Tidus, that's true. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. It's just like Tidus is just more... You can just judge Tidus on loose slice and dice. Mm -hmm. he, he has some good tracking attacks, uh, but they are pretty bad. Oh yeah, slice and dice. I know how to dodge slice and dice pretty easily, but Mirage Dive is just straight up bullshit, if you ask me. Mirage Dive is straight up bullshit. So... Uh... Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we can leave it at that. What do you guys think? So also keep in mind that when I, I have, the I have ordered them by, by role. So like, I don't think, for example, that Renoa is better than Kane. You know, just because Kane is on the list, I mean, because I I did assassins, then vanguards, then specialists, and then marksmen. So like. Keep them separate, you know? Yeah. So, like, I don't think, for example, that... Mm, well, I mean, okay, I think Jet is better than uh, Exit, for example, right? But... Alright. Uh, have fun, Shift. Thank you for s sending me the... Send me the UV matter that you want. Alright. I may not do it today, but, uh, yeah. Sephiroth better than Sinos. Yeah, that's what I mean, like, I don't mean that it's, Sephiroth is better than Sinus, but I did the special, it's like, Assassins, Bangers, and then Specialists, you know what I mean? It's it's based on rules. Like, it's yeah. order by rules, I don't mean that, 
Uh, for example, Sephiroth is better than Sephiroth is worse than Tidus. I can't believe Sephiroth's. A, I can't believe Sephiroth's a better specialist than Zenos. I <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? I just look you at the same time, so I can. All right. Yeah, so that's what I mean. Like they're ordered by role. They are not. Like it's not like oh, I think Reno is better than Kuya, so I'm gonna put him here. No, I'm not doing that. Like I'm just ordering them by role. All right, so I think that's pretty okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. And if someone, if someone gets upset at this tier list, remember what they say on Twitter. So that's what we're gonna go with. What do they say? Host mad. So we're gonna go with this, and I'm gonna save it. And that's gonna be. This is gonna be the next shit show. On Twitter, maybe. <laughs> Should I post it on Twitter? People are gonna shit on. Do me. it. Do it. People are gonna shit on me. Gonna, Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> How dare you? That that carrot Sephiroth isn't isn't trash or like Vaughn isn't D tier. I was thinking I actually have B plus and B minus, but I but I it looked kind of a little bit confusing for me because. Because what happened was that I moved, for example, Kuja to B+, but I'm kind of implying that I think Kuja is better than Garlong, and not necessarily, because they're like different roles, you know what I mean? So it's like yeah. the tier list based on how good they do their role on a competitive environment. But I can try to make a B+, what would you make in B+, because I was thinking that Kane and Kuja are pretty good, but they're not A. But I see there. I think they're pretty up there. Shantoro will be B plus. Yeah, that's what I think so as well. I should let me put Shantoro over Rinoa. We'll have to make like three tier lists for like marksman, Vanguard, and a specialist to make it like more organized. Maybe. Yeah, no, I also think like Emperor could be B plus. So what we're gonna do? No, like Shantoro. No, no Shantoro. No Emperor. Shantoro will be B plus. That's why I put like Shantoro on the top of these three because I think Shantoro is better than these three. But I don't want to make it like an entire tier just for one character. You know, that's kind of like my point. So like I have order I have them order on how good I think they are. For example, I think I think for example that Sidan is better than Locke, so that's why I put Sidan on the left. I also think that Bart is better than Onionite, so I put Bart before Onionite and then I have Extef. Mm, actually should I, I should I put Extef over Onion? Because I think Onion nah, no mm, I think Extef on Team War is actually really fucking good. So I don't know if I will put... Is it different? But yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I think I'm going to put Exit over Onion. Yeah. I think Onion... I think Onion Knight is not that great when it comes to like... Like, Onion Knight is good regardless of what your teammates are. Like, they're going to use fucking throw sa shit with Sage and there you go. Jump into sit and steal a series and tab and leaves. <laughs> Only I might be a tier because we're something I don't play. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think do you think Exodus is significantly better than Onion Knight? Sincere. <laughs> oh, this is the song that Jen loves and Lambda hates from Final Fantasy IX. Yes, Jen. Forgive me. What is it? Okay. What? 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 What is it, Jen? Tell me. What is happening? Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I. 
I wouldn't have that in mind with Onionite because since Onionite works better with... Since Onionite works better with more team... Co well, actually, since we're having issues with fucking... <laughs> recently... I'm actually gonna hold back on that statement of like Onion is easy to put on a team composition. <laughs> Since we're struggling to fucking use Onionite all the time, so. Actually. Jen, I... Jen, please. I'm sorry, Raging, you're gonna get mad at me, but I'm gonna put Onionite there. There we go. This is a time where Raging fucking shits on me. Like pieces on my wife. Okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> All right. I think that's that's better. I'd say that's better. Let's go with that. What do you guys think? Should we should we call it like this? I or think we should post. Should <laughs> yeah, put it on Twitter. See what happens. Yeah, man. I'm gonna put this on Twitter. And people are gonna die. I'm gonna get like I'm gonna have to quit and see like GGL did because they shit on him really hard. Alright. I'm gonna post this on YouTube too. Like this entire segment I'm gonna post it on my YouTube channel. So I can upload something like me. Let hell rise. Alright. Wait, are, are you actually posting the half hour we spent on this? I on YouTube. I think we spent an entire hour. How much? The time? entire hour we spent on this on you You're posting the entire hour we spent on this on YouTube. Yeah, man. Thank you so, guys, so much, guys, for watching. Subscribe to my Twitch. <laughs> follow my... Can't you even follow people on Patreon? Is that even a thing? <laughs> you know, make I sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitch.tv below in the description below. And then also check out my Patreon if you want to give me money to support my business. <laughs> Can we get 50,000 likes? <laughs> Ow. Siren uh, Plus NT for fan give the man some support. <laughs> right? I want to be Twitch famous with NT. There you go. So yeah, I think... Man, I, I can't wait for the salt. Patreon's more subscribing. Yeah, Patreon's more subscribing. So I think yeah, you... because you pay like, uh, you pledge money, which is basically a subscription. Yeah. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, for those that watched the entire... I think this has been like an hour at least, or like 45 minutes. So yeah, I'll see you guys on another video if I make another one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye everyone. Z Goodbye everybody.